Silverco Data Systems v. Intel Corp. was a trade secrets case heard before the California Court of Appeal for the 6th District. Silverco sued Intel for misappropriation of trade secrets because Intel used software produced by a third party that had misappropriated Silverco's trade secrets. The appeals court affirmed the decision of the trial court to grant summary judgment in favor of Intel, finding that merely using infringing software does not constitute a trade secret infringement in itself. Topic. Background Silverco is a California-based company that produces Electronic Design Automation software. Silverco makes several EDA products including SmartSpis, a tool for designing and simulating analog circuits. In December 2000, Silverco sued Circuit Semantics, Inc. CSI for misappropriating Silverco's trade secrets in the design of Dinnerspice, a CSI product that competed with SmartSpis. This case went to trial, where Silverco eventually prevailed. Silverco then sued several customers of CSI that had used Dinnerspice, including Intel. Silverco argued that by using Dinnerspice, Intel was guilty of misappropriation of trade secrets under the California Uniform Trade Secrets Act CUTSA. Intel demurred, that is, they argued that, even if they had used Dinnerspice, their use of Dinnerspice did not constitute misappropriation of trade secrets. In particular, Intel presented evidence that they only received the object code for Dinnerspice, not the source code, and that because object code does not readily yield its underlying design to human understanding, possession of object code does not imply possession of information that would be protected as a trade secret. The trial court granted summary judgment in favor of Intel, stating that by acquiring the CSI software that embodies Silverco's source code, Intel did not acquire, or gain knowledge of, the information that constitutes Silverco's alleged trade secret. It is not the functionality of the CSI software that constitutes Silverco's alleged trade secret, but Silverco's means of creating that functionality through the source code. Silverco appealed the trial court's decision. Topic. Opinion of the court The appeals court affirmed the decision of the trial court, granting summary judgment in favor of Intel. Agreeing with the trial court, the appeals court found that Intel never had possession of any trade secrets belonging to Silverco, which CUTSA defines as one of the criteria for misappropriation of trade secrets. The court distinguished between the use of a trade secret which would constitute an infringement from the use of the software via executing its object code. The court reasoned in part by analogy one who bakes a pie from a recipe certainly engages in the use of the latter, but one who eats the pie does not, by virtue of that act alone, make use of the recipe in any ordinary sense, and this is true even if the baker is accused of stealing the recipe from a competitor, and the diner knows of that accusation. Yet this is substantially the same situation as when one runs software that was compiled from allegedly stolen source code. The source code is the recipe from which the pie executable program is baked compiled. The court also observed that accepting Silverco's arguments would have dire policy consequences. To brand Intel's conduct as unethical, we would have to conclude that any end user of a software application must desist from its use, whatever the resulting harm to his own business, the moment anyone claims that the application was compiled from stolen source code. This would be a prescription for the stultification of technological development and of other business activities taking place at a considerable remove, causally and ethically, from the claimed wrong. 
far from serving the purposes of trade secrets law, such a rule would make it far too easy to suppress competition and technological development by threatening not only would-be competitors, but also their customers, with litigation of virtually unlimited scope. Impact Several commentators observed that the court's decision in this case clarified the application of trade secret law to software. In particular, the court's decision supports the idea that although a program's object code is derived from the program's source code, an individual possessing the object code does not possess any knowledge of any trade secrets embodied in the source code. The appeals court decision also prompted discussion because of a lengthy footnote contained in the opinion that decried the 8,000 pages of records filed with the court for this case, to which fact Justice Rushing commented, "...seldom have so many trees died for so little." See also Uniform Trade Secrets Act